Hi, this is Roger Enfin, and then today we're taking a look at the Chubby Telepod Pro. And for the impatient ones, think of it as a combination of a table tripod and then a vlogging selfie stick that has a very nice grip, it's extendable, and it can hold up to something like a Sony ZV-1. I got it a few months ago on a sale for 25 bucks, and I would say that that's what it's worth. I wanted something lightish, something extendable, and something especially to be used with my DJI Osmo Action. Ideally, it could hold a little bit more, like a Sony ZV-1, which it can, so it fulfills those requirements. When folded, it's about 25 centimeters, or the length of my hand, and when fully extended, this is about 70 centimeters, which is fairly far away. One thing that I like is how it extends or folds and unfolds, and basically you twist, and then after one twist, one of the different sections becomes collapsible. Then if you twist again, the next one becomes collapsible, and when you twist back, then it really holds in place. It feels pretty solid on that sense, as long as you don't have too much weight on it. And here, the definition of too much weight would be something more than a Sony ZV-1. One thing to keep in mind when you want to use this as a table tripod is that while all the sections are folded in, the longer one actually goes under what would be the level of the table. So in order to use this as a table tripod, you will have to always somewhat extend it and then you don't have the problem with the leg. Also, these legs have two positions, this a little bit more open, and then this one, which is definitely more stable, and the one that I would use for sure with the Sony ZV-1, but even with the Osmo Action. It has some holes in here that apparently, for what I've seen some other videos, people might be using these too. Like nail these to the crown with camping tent nails type of thing. So it's more stable, but that's a use that I will never have for. The ball head that it comes with is this, which is the Joby one kilo, which by the way, I would definitely not put one kilo of load on top of this Teleport Pro, but I don't like it too much. So what I've done is substituted for the ball head that came with the Anker Nebula, which I have a much better feel when this is being tightened. And it also has a much bigger surface to mount the camera on top, which gives me a little bit more peace of mind. When it comes to the load itself, as I said, it can handle perfectly fine something like the DJ Osmo action or other type of action cameras. It handles also really well a compact camera such as the CV1, which is a pretty good option for vlogging as well. But I would definitely not use it for something heavier like mirrorless cameras. For instance, this is the Olympus EM1 Mark II with the 12 mm f2, which is a fairly compact um, setup when it comes to mirrorless cameras for vlogging, especially if you think that people do vlog using full frame cameras, but this is way too much for this tripod. Everything starts to become a bit shaky, so I wouldn't recommend using it with anything heavier than this. And the reason that I have the Nebula tripod head on this one is because on top of the Anker Nebula, I have an Ulanzi um, ball head that has a Arca Swiss blade. I might still upgrade this one to something similar to that Ulanzi if I find something that is still light enough as a ball head that offers me a bit better feel than this one, but we'll see about that. One feature that I like very much for vlogging, which is the reason why I got this, and here the definition of vlogging is around talking to the camera, it's this. The material of the grip is really nice and feels comfortable in the hand. Again, in opposition to the Anker Nebula, which is a bunch of metal that kind of hurts in the hand, this is pretty nice to hold. And then the fact that it's just not a selfie stick, but you can open the legs, as I said before, and use it as a tripod and set the camera somewhere. But if the use case is vlogging, let's mount the ZV-1 and let's go outside for a while. So the spring is finally here, and now I can take out the Sony ZV-1 most days, which is a nice pairing with this Teleport Pro. Oops, careful. During the winter, I took it out also, but with the DJI Osmo Action, and then I've even used it to vlog 
while doing snow work on the roof which was a use case that I would have definitely not taken the ZV-1 the Osmo Action was perfect for it and the Javi Telepod Pro did an excellent job to be honest and now that I have it fully extended what do you think about the framing the size of my head in the frame and the stabilization in general with the ZV-1 and at the moment I have it with the active stabilization on I know that if you want absolutely smooth gimbal-like smoothness well, you'll need a gimbal but for me a gimbal for this type of purpose it's an overkill I don't like to balance them it takes a bit too much of work and while I have used them for something else like making short films for vlogging I think it's an overkill and I'm gonna point out to the master of all vlogging the godfather of it Casey Neistat and just look at how shaky many sections of his videos are this is definitely not vlogging with a gimbal the camera right now looks a bit shaking so I'm curious to see how will be the final result but this is a really nice experience the size and weight of this combo the ZV-1 with the Joby Telepod Pro is pretty awesome and now that my go-to solution for audio in this vlogging is this lavalier microphone and the Zoom F2 we can do things like this Hello and welcome to the Finnish Spring Well, there's almost no snow and everything is still dead Should we go back inside for some conclusions now? When it comes to possible alternatives to this I can only compare it to this Benro BK10 which is pretty terrible it doesn't feel good it feels really flimsy as the more you open and you unlock these things the more flimsy it gets and it doesn't have any locking mechanism so I pretty much don't use it at all i'm pretty sure that ulanzi and some other brands have really good value for money alternatives to this one but i haven't got my hands onto any of those so i can't compare them but for the price that i got this 25 bucks this is really serving its purpose and many reviews including my own and with what i recommend this it's kind of a difficult question because the answer is always well if this bit and that bit and this bit is something that you are looking for then yes, we can recommend it. So instead, I think I'm gonna answer the question of, do I use it? Well, since getting it, and I got it for the purpose of, again, vlogging, being outside with a camera, I've done that a lot more than I used to do before, mostly because this is just easy and fun to use. And I've used this in um, in hospitable weather conditions, like I posted some time ago, a video of me cleaning the roof of snow. And again, the DJI Osmo Action is a perfect camera for those weather conditions and this worked just fine, it worked well, I could set it up on the snow while I was working there, then take it up and do some vlogging things. So, am I using it? Definitely yes. Am I planning to use it more? Definitely yes. And I think that that's the highest praise I can give to a product. It's helping me to do more of something that I actually want to do. It's making my life easier on that particular thing, and therefore, I think that's a pretty good definition of value. So, what did you think? Do you have one of these? Do you have some alternatives that you could recommend to other people? And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And we're gonna see you soon for some more.